Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight I made a reservation to treat my mom to fine dining for her birthday lunch at Jeongsik Dang, also known as Jeongsik Seoul. They have two Michelin stars and also a location in New York that I've heard great things about, but it's less expensive in Seoul, so I was really excited for us to try it. The service here was just absolutely amazing. One of the servers who goes by Sean as his English name was just so friendly and warm throughout the entire meal and he really stood out. And everyone who served us explained each dish in detail in both English for my husband and in Korean for my mom. They also gave her an off-menu dish of miyokguk risotto, which was an Italian-inspired take on the traditional Korean seaweed soup that you eat on your birthday. Ahead of our last savory course of lamb kalbi, we were asked to pick our own knives with different types of wood handles like olive tree, walnut, and juniper berry. Random, but kind of fun to feel like it's customized. And the lamb kalbi was so good, just amazingly tender, and my mom actually doesn't even usually like lamb, but she enjoyed this. <laughs> I've been a foodie my entire life, but my love for food was truly inherited from my mom, so it was really special to have such an interesting and delicious meal with her and my husband. For lunch the next day, we went to Mongtan, which is one of the most popular higher-end Korean barbecue spots in all of Seoul right now. They're best known for their beef short rib, which you must order. They're priced at 32,000 won per serving, but the smallest ribs are a minimum of two servings, so that's the smallest you can order at one time. We ordered three servings for the two of us, and I am not exaggerating when I say this was probably the most well-marbled and most delicious short rib I've ever had in my entire life. It comes with wasabi and some other dips, but it honestly doesn't even need anything. It's just that delicious. The employees cut the meat off the bone and grill it for you while portioning into bite-sized pieces. I honestly cannot recommend this place enough. It is absolutely worth the hype in my opinion. It does get really crowded with locals even on weekdays though, so I try to go on a weekday outside of peak hours like we did. For lunch, Ed and I went to Manak in the trendy neighborhood of Songsu. 
It's a small restaurant specializing in premium rice pot dishes, and I think they're pretty popular, but we got lucky and got seated right away on a weekday. I got a steak rice pot, which was topped with an egg yolk and came with some small side dishes along with salad and soup, and Ed got the shrimp and salmon rice pot, which also came with the same sides. And both rice pots were really good. My steak was super tender and flavorful. And then at the end of the meal, you can ask for hot water to be poured into the pot for scorched rice tea. Wow. 